ladies and gentlemen i welcome all to my channel we are seeing the series of videos under the head do's and don'ts in purchasing and selling the property so far we have seen five continuous videos and five important things which we have to see in purchasing and selling the property in this video we are going to see the sixth important aspect which we have to bear in mind in purchasing the property uh if the what are the documents which we have to demand and get from this seller is the topic which we are going to discuss in this video so when you are going to purchase the property just paying the price just getting a registration in our name and getting the possession of the property itself is not sufficient we should also demand and collect various documents relating to the property if those documents are there in your, on your hand you will have perfect clear title over the property or otherwise if any problem arises and under that circumstances if you go and approach the seller he may not be available at the address which was available you know, on your hand because he, since he sold the property he might have vacated your property and he may go any place and it may not be possible to find out to the seller again even if you are able to find out the seller he may he will not be take much interest to deliver or the relevant documents because he has already purchased got the money money and he has already sold the property and he will not take much interest or take will not take any responsibility to deliver those documents so at the time of purchasing the document itself you should take an, enough effort to collect all the relevant documents so what are all the documents we will have to collect at the time of purchasing the property number 1 is the uh, title deed so supposing you are purchasing a property by one from mr ramasamy the ramasamy would have purchased the property from mr kumarasamy so the that deed the dark the sale deed which through which the ramasamy got the property is called the title deed or otherwise the ramasamy got the property from his parents or grandparents by way of settlement or by way of partition that such document is called title deed so we have to collect that title deed then we should also collect all the id uh, uh, id proofs say aadhar card voter id then ration card then uh, um, pan card all these ids you can collect so for the registration they will require all our pan card and aadhar card is sufficient but for your safety you also collect the um, what is called the ration card as well as the voter id that will have that will give extra strength to your property so as far as the document is concerned the document would have st- uh, stand in the name of one particular ramasamy but you may not be knowing who is ramasamy whether the person who is coming and executing the document is really ramasamy or not you cannot judge so for to verify those details and also to confirm the genuineness you should collect all the four available documents then the third document is called uh, the parent deeds so all the documents all the registration documents sale deed uh, sale deed say sale deed or uh, partition deed settlement deed whatever be the documents prior to the purchase of this prior to the purchase uh, of the sellers sale deed they are called the parent deeds so we should collect all the documents we should all we should we should see that all the documents are originals we should collect all the original documents so supposing there were property division or some the, the, there were lot of properties and only one portion of the document is uh, um sold then at the time you can check with your lawyer whether this 
under this circumstances, whether we can accept the Xerox copies or certificate copy instead of the original copy. So that that aspect, you will have to. It is better to consult a lawyer. Then third element is patta chitta adakal. If it is a residential property or commercial property in a town, patta is patta document is to be collected. If it is an agricultural land, in addition to the patta, you should also collect chitta and adakal. Patta passport is also if it is available, that is to be collected. These documents. Uh, the patta chitta adangal stands in the name of the present owner alone is not sufficient. You should also collect the patta chitta adangal in the name of all the previous owners. That will be kill you. That will give more strength to your property. See, supposing the present owner how uh, by paying some bribes and arranging the patta chitta adangal in his name, and in previous the previous owners. Uh, the patta chitta alangal in the name of previous owners are not available. There is a possibility of fraud or there is a possibility of dispute. So, if the patta chitta alangals are available in the name of the present owner as well as in the previous owner, then we can presume that there is no dispute, there is no case, there, there is no litigation over the property. Then, encumbrance certificate. So, encumbrance certificate also you can collect it from the seller. Not only really for a present period, if that encumbrance uh, IC is available, encumbrance certificate is available for the old period. So, that is a valuable document. Nowadays, if you apply for a encumbrance certificate for the old period, they may, the registrar office may say, sir, this is not computerized. We will have to apply, we have to search it manually. Uh, old books are not here, it is not possible like that, they may say. So, getting an AC for a old period is somewhat difficult. So, such documents, such ECs are available with the seller, you should collect it right now. Then, if there is a building, then building approval, demolition order, if, uh, the old, if, uh, if there is a uh, uh, de development or new construction, you should also see the proper development, uh, proper demolition order is there. Proper uh, building uh, building approval order is there. That also you have to see. If it is a flat, then in that case, you should also see that whether they have obtained proper planning approval for the entire project, and you should also see whether they have obtained proper uh, completion certificate from the concerned development authority, and you should also see uh, proper environmental clearance certificate is obtained by the developer in a big level project. So, these are all the documents we have to collect in the event of purchasing the flat. Then, property tax assessment. So, once the property building is constructed, then there will be a, uh, what is called, uh, the property The property would have been assessed by the panchayat or municipality or corporation for the property tax assessment. So, that assessment order is essential. Then, property tax receipts or property tax card are to be collected. Then if the uh, uh, metro water connection or drainage connection assessment orders, books, cards, receipt also to be collected. Then the, there, if there is a building, uh, there are electricity connection, the proper amount, uh, deposit amount, so every, for every electricity connection there would be the parties would have, when applying the electricity, they would have made a deposit. For which the EB department, electricity department uh, will issue a uh, receipt for the deposit amount. If such deposit is available, that is also you have to collect it. Then in addition to that, you should also collect the electricity card from the old period to up to date period plus receipts. Then if there is a tenant, you are, they are giving vacant position, it's okay. Suppose there are tenants, then in that case, the lease agreement between the previous landlord and the tenant, you have to collect it. Because once you purchase the property with tenant, then you will have to handle the tenant. Suppose he paid some big amount as advance or security deposit or a better lease agreement, then you will be in problem. So you should also collect such documents and you should also check up the, the concerned tenant whether this is the proper um, uh, deposit you have made, or this is the proper advance you have given. Like the data, you have to confirm it over 
through enquiry. So these are all the documents you have to collect it when you are going to purchase a property. So merely purchasing, paying the price, merely getting a sale deed, merely getting the possession of the property is not sufficient. You will have to collect all these documents. Then only you will have perfect title, clear title and you can have peaceful enjoyment. Or otherwise, if any problem arises, then you will not be in a position to address the problem. At that time, if you go and approach the seller, he may not be available or he may not be showing interest or he may not be helping you. And if you that time, if you go and approach consent department, there it will, be, it will be a difficult job to you in getting the details or collecting the necessary documents. So when you are purchasing a property, you have the whole. Before paying the price, you can insist the buyer, seller to produce, you hand out the, all the documents. If he is not giving any or one or two documents, then you can retain a portion of the sale price and you can tell. You produce all these documents, then you collect the that portion of the amount retained. Like that, you can have the whole. Once you pay the price and leave the whole, uh, leave the whole, then it will be a difficult job to you to collect the documents. So I hope this video is be, will be very useful to the buyers who are going to purchase a property. So we are uh, posting um, several videos under the head do's and don'ts in purchasing and selling the property. If you want to know the previous videos, you can watch my channel. We will also post additional videos under the same topic because it is a very important topic. There are level, lot of aspects are there in uh, purchasing and selling the property. So we have two channels, Razyag, Satam Marivom, it's a Tamil channel, Razyag, YouTube is an English channel. And we have also a website, Google Sites, Ali Associate Chennai. So in the three things, in the websites and in the my channel, all there are a lot of videos, a lot of playlists. If you have any doubts, any legal doubts or if you need any clarification, you can just visit my channel or my website and you can click the relevant playlist or the relevant videos and you can watch my videos and clear your doubts. Knowledge is power. Legal knowledge will not only give you power, it will also give strength and confidence. So please watch my videos and develop your personality by through by uh, acquiring your le required legal knowledge. In addition to that, if you have any doubts or clarification or you need any consultation, online consultation, you may contact this uh, number. If time permits on appointment, I can give you the necessary legal advice or consultation depending upon my available time. So I will come again with another topic. Until then, goodbye. Razia Kali.